Hello everyone, my name is Fi. We're going to be opening up the contents of this box here now. There is more than one thing inside this box and I don't know if they're individually boxed or if it's just both things thrown into the box. So I'm kind of just going to open it up and take out whatever my hand hits first. So that being said, this video is this box part one. This box part two will be whatever else is in this box that I didn't grab. Let's get to it. So I'm going to grab this first. This is the biggest thing. This is the iRainy IR101 Amplified Stereo Gaming Headset in black. It is for PC notebook. It's got a 40 millimeter speaker driver. I had another brand of gaming headset that perished a few months back. In fact, I've had two of that same brand and I had two different ones uh, stop working within the year. So I decided to go with something different and I wanted to take a chance on a brand I hadn't heard of before. Not get the same thing every time, so what's the point of doing reviews for everyone at home if I'm not going to try new things and share with everyone? Especially things that might not get reviewed as readily as the more popular options. So, let's open it up. Just look like that on the inside. I'll see there's nothing else in the box that I can see it is just the headset which is fine my last gaming headset just came in a regular cardboard box this at least has its own packaging so awesome for that okay so this is what it looks like this is obviously your microphone the actual cord is like this nylon bit here which is a nice welcome change the last one I had, the last two I had actually from the other brand were just your standard black cord. All right, the cord itself is two meters or six and a half feet or so long, which is awesome. I'm really happy that the cord is this braided nylon material and not regular plastic, not regular, not the regular rubbery wires that most, uh, most everything actually is. On the side here we have it looks to be, I was soon on and off in volume, but this could be how to pick up a phone call. Now, there are no instructions with it, so that's kind of a letdown, but I mean, it's a gaming headset, so it can't be that overly complicated. And the top part, the top part here is very soft. These are a little, little firm, but we haven't tried it on yet. So let's go and do that now. All right, easy to adjust. This is the microphone. Okay, I like the microphone being like this because it is not in front of your face and distracting. My old gaming headset was it wrapped around all the way to here. And while not a big deal, this is actually kind of cool. I've never had a gaming headset that was off to the side like this. So that's awesome. The only way to actually test this out is to actually use it. So, Woe is me, the perils of my job. I actually have to go play video games now and see how well this performs. So let's play some video games, I guess. Let's go. All right, I'm back. I was forced to play video games to test this out. Yes, I know, I suffer for the job, but it's for all of you. And here are my thoughts. I played, I was, in case anyone was wondering, I was playing Final Fantasy X Remastered. I meant to play for a few minutes and then 
if you play video games, you know how a few minutes can turn into about an hour or more. I made myself stop. The game is currently paused to come back and do this review. I'm going to edit everything together. Uh, here are my thoughts. I didn't have a chance to use the microphone part because I don't really do a lot of co-op stuff. I'll have to test this out as far as co-op capabilities, as far as the microphone. For the price point, this is a very, very good headset. It's inexpensive and it's quality for the price that you pay. You're not getting a cheap product at a cheap price. You're getting a very good product at a very good price. The headset here was comfortable. I had my hat on the whole time. I had these on for about an hour and they really didn't, they don't feel uncomfortable at all. They didn't feel like they were pressure, they didn't, they didn't feel pressured. I would say maybe make the ear, the padding of the ears here a little thicker, just a hair. So sometimes in other videos you can hear ambient noises from the apartment, uh, most notably my fridge or my heater. This blocked out the noises of those while being able to hear what I was doing. The volume control was nice. And then you have these two 3.5 millimeter plugs here. It took me a little trial now, just a little bit because there's only two. Green one, audio out on the back of your TV. Red one, I assume is audio in. Again, I'm a huge fan of the nylon braided design. It didn't tangle at all. I have a really difficult time with cords wanting to tangle on me for no reason. I'll set them down and I'll pick them back up and they'll be in knots. It's really strange. So if you're looking for an inexpensive, nice gaming headset that has volume control and an awesome cord that won't get tangled and won't rip or tear or get damaged easily, it's comfortable. So I would definitely recommend it. It is Wi-Fi approved. I would definitely say pick this up if you're in the market for a gaming headset but don't want to break the bank. This is a good solid option. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try and refrain from playing any more Final Fantasy so I can go and edit this for you all. And please shoot the video a like if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to the channel or channels. We have more than one. And I will see you all in the next unboxing. And as always, you have a good night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Cheers.